Former cricketer Imran Khan may have emerged as the biggest winner of Thursday's general elections in Pakistan, but it seems to be arch rival Nawaz Sharif who is likely to emerge as the country's leader after the dust settles. According to the provisional results from the Election Commission of Pakistan, independents backed by Pakistan Tehreek-e-Insaf hold 91 seats, closely followed by 77 for Pakistan Muslim League and 54 for Pakistan People's Party. However, according to media reports, the Pakistan army is not keen on Imran Khan returning to power and is doing everything in its might to bring together two of his main rivals into a coalition. The two rivals being Sharif's Pakistan Muslim League and Bilawal Bhutto Zardari's Pakistan People's Party. Reports suggest that Shehbaz Sharif, Nawaz Sharif's brother and a former Prime Minister of Pakistan, has joined forces with Bilawal Bhutto Zardari's Pakistan People's Party to create a coalition government due to the absence of any single party securing a clear majority in elections. I think that in all likelihood, the way things are shaping up, it, it would be uh, Pakistan Muslim League Chief Nawaz Sharif. He will be the, in all likelihood, he will become the Chief Minister, uh, Prime Minister because army has put all its stake on him. The army's opposition to a second tenure of Imran Khan seems to be based on its assessment that he is not mature enough to lead the country, particularly given the dire economic straits Pakistan finds itself in. Nawaz Sharif is, is also known for his sound economic policies, more balanced approach. So like if Nawaz Sharif is in Pakistan, the chances is that chances are high that there might be a, a, a possibility of a dialogue between India and Pakistan because he's more pragmatic. He's a, he has been an industrialist, so he understands the economic dynamics, the, the how economic engagement, the benefit of economic engagement between India and Pakistan. So the chances of uh, 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 India-Pakistan opening um, a new dialogue uh, is higher with uh, Nawaz Sharif becoming the Prime Minister. But will Imran Khan's Pakistani Tehreek and Saf take the setback lying down? Or will it continue with its agitations against the army's high-handedness? Will Pakistan find the much-needed political stability that its tattered economy needs? Only time will tell.